Picture this, the year is 1987, and you find yourself nestled in the cushions of your worn-out sofa. The glow of the television dances across the room, casting a familiar warmth. As you tune into a new TV series that's about to redefine your idea of family sitcoms. The screen bursts to life with a quirky opening sequence, a glimpse into the hilariously dysfunctional lives of the Bundy family. From the very first episode of Married. With children, you're thrown into a world that's delightfully off-kilter, where the traditional family dynamics are turned upside down and replaced with a cocktail of biting humor, sarcasm, and unapologetic irreverence. As you watch the Bundys navigate their everyday chaos, there's something strangely comforting about their dysfunctionality. Al's cringeworthy one-liners and Peg's unapologetic laziness become oddly endearing traits, while Kelly's obliviousness and Bud's relentless pursuit of the opposite sex form the backdrop of your laughter-filled evenings. And who could forget Marcy, the ever-persistent neighbor, whose interactions with the Bundys provide a perfect foil for their unconventional charm. As the series unfolds, you're treated to a buffet of unforgettable moments. Al's obsession with his Dodge, the No Mom Club, and a seemingly endless parade of eccentric guests passing through the Bundy household. Each episode is a roller coaster of laughter, with unexpected twists and turns that keep you hooked, eagerly awaiting the next Bundy misadventure. Now, let's dive into some lesser known facts about the show that add a layer of intrigue to your viewing experience. Did you know that the iconic living room set was meticulously designed to reflect the bleakness of the Bundy's lives? And here's a nugget, the show's title was initially supposed to be Not the Cosby's, as a playful jab at the wholesome family sitcoms of the time. These behind-the-scenes tidbits only enhance the charm of the series, inviting you to see it in a new light. So, whether you're revisiting those uproarious episodes or embarking on your first journey into the Bundiverse, Married with Children remains a timeless testament to the power of laughter in the face of life's absurdities. It's a world where dysfunctionality reigns supreme and the boundaries of conventional sitcoms are gleefully stretched to their limits. And there you have it, a stroll down memory lane to that first encounter with the Bundys, a family that defies norms and stereotypes with uproarious flair. So go ahead, indulge in some nostalgia, and relive those side-splitting moments that make married. With children an unforgettable part of television history, vision history, vision history, married. With children, behind the laughs and lurid reads in the annals of television history, few series have left as lasting an imprint as the 1987 classic Married. With children, as fans reminisce over the years, one intriguing detail stands out. Al Bundy's unabashed devotion to a certain magazine known as Big Uns. While the show's humor often veered into controversial territories, the portrayal of Al's favorite reading material raises eyebrows to this day. Big Uns, a nod to a certain men's publication of the era, was the object of Al's affection throughout the series. Yet, the writers didn't stop there. In a clever twist, Griff, Al's comrade in retail misery, could be spotted engrossed in Black Big Uns, a play on the original, introducing a new layer to the show's satirical take on cultural nuances. The show's audaciousness even extended to the far reaches of Cuba, where an episode transported viewers to the tropical isle. And there, in a comedic wink, Fidel Castro himself indulged in the risque escapades of Cub Uns. The creative team's ingenuity was on full display, turning these magazines into recurring jokes that amplified the show's subversive humor. Yet, beneath the surface of this ribaldry, one can uncover a surprising twist of fate. David Garrison, the first actor to be cast, embodied the character of Steve Rhodes with flair. However, as the seasons unfurled, irony prevailed, Garrison became the sole main cast member to bid farewell to the series. His departure, a testament to the show's ever-evolving dynamics, reshaped the narrative trajectory, proving that even the most seemingly enduring elements can undergo unexpected metamorphoses. A legacy of married. With children remains complex, intertwining societal critiques with comedic exaggeration. The saga of Al Bundy's preferred reading material, entwined with Griff's variations and even Castro's fictional predilections, stands as a testament to the show's boundary-pushing audacity. As fans revisit the show and newcomers discover it, these cheeky details continue to invite both laughter and contemplation. Contemplation. Unrecognized in plain sight, a tale from the Mall of Married. With children during the inception of the hit 1987 TV series Married. With children, the cast and crew found themselves navigating the unpredictable waters of fame. 
In an ironic twist, one incident involving David Faustino, the actor who portrayed the Bundy's youngest, Bud, showcased the show's cultural impact while highlighting the subtleties of celebrity recognition. In a daring experiment, David Faustino ventured into a bustling mall, a place where recognition might seem inevitable for a television star. He sported a shirt boldly emblazoned with the show's logo, a statement of allegiance to the production that had already begun capturing hearts and minds. Yet, in a twist that bordered on the surreal, not a single soul approached or acknowledged the young actor. His presence, overshadowed by the everyday hustle of mall life, went entirely unnoticed. This tale, emblematic of the era's television landscape, reflects the show's distinctive flavor and its unexpected impact on pop culture. Married with Children, a sitcom that defied conventions and explored the humor in the mundane, resonated with audiences across the globe. Its unique blend of sarcasm and satire spoke to a generation, culminating in a phenomenon that extended beyond its domestic borders. However, perhaps the most intriguing testament to the show's international allure lies in its unforeseen success among young adults in Germany. The broadcasting network RTL, recognizing the resonance of the Bundy's dysfunctional charm, embarked on a daring venture, producing a German adaptation titled Hilf, Main Family Spit. Translating every script, faithfully capturing each joke, and reimagining the Bundys as the Strunk family, the German iteration set out to capture lightning in a bottle once more. Yet, even in the carefully orchestrated replication of laughs, lightning did not strike twice. Despite its ardent efforts, Hilf, Main Family Spit met its end after just one season. The cultural nuances and distinctive dynamics that made the original a triumph proved elusive to replicate fully. The experiment, while short-lived, underscored the intricate alchemy that defines a show's global appeal. In this age of reboots and remakes, where the echoes of bygone shows persist, married, with children stands as a testament to the era that birthed it. An era when sitcoms dared to break the mold, when family dynamics were just heartwarming but also bitingly hilarious. As fans reminisce about the Bundy's escapades, let us not forget the mall experiment, a reminder that fame is often a fickle friend, and recognition, a rare and unpredictable phenomenon. Indeed, the show's legacy continues to reverberate through references, such as the sly nod to Ed O'Neill's film Dutch. In season 6, episode 24, aptly titled England Show I, a fleeting moment on an airplane finds Al Bundy obscured by a poster for the film, reminiscent of the often absurd situations that characterized the show. Married with Children remains a cultural touchstone, a slice of television history that left its mark on the landscape it both mocked and celebrated. From malls to foreign shores, its influence endures, a testament to the power of laughter and the enigmatic nature of recognition. Katie Sagal's iconic 1960s-inspired look, a parody of housewife chic unmarried. With children in the annals of television history, few characters have left as lasting an impression as Katie Sagal's Peggy Bundy from the beloved 1987 TV series Married. With children, with her bouffant red wig, skin-tight leopard prints, and form-fitting dresses, Peggy became an icon of 1960s-inspired fashion. But the story behind her distinctive look is a tale of creative ingenuity. Sagal, a versatile actress known for her comedic prowess, conceived the idea of Peggy's retro wardrobe as a playful parody of the stereotypical 1960s housewife. The audacious blend of outlandish colors and vintage designs served as a tongue-in-cheek homage to an era long past. Sagal's own red bouffant wig, which she brought to her audition, became the crowning jewel of Peggy's look, capturing the essence of a bygone time while exuding a modern irreverence. Once Sagal secured the role, the show's producers wholeheartedly embraced her sartorial vision. Peggy's quirky outfits, often accompanied by pearls and heels, set her apart from the typical TV matriarch. The character's unapologetically brash style resonated with viewers, making Peggy Bundy a pop culture phenomenon and an enduring emblem of the series. Sagal's innovative take on Peggy's appearance proved to be a masterstroke. The actress not only channeled the spirit of the 60 Seconds housewife, but also added a distinct layer of satire that played perfectly against the show's irreverent humor. Her fashion-forward gamble paid off, helping to establish Mary. With children as a groundbreaking sitcom that dared to challenge conventions while delivering uproarious laughter. As we look back on the iconic portrayal of Peggy Bundy, it's a testament to the power of creative inspiration and the synergy between actor and character.
Tady Sagal's audacious vision of a housewife stuck in time continues to shine as a timeless example of television's ability to reflect, parody, and redefine cultural norms. As we bid adieu to the colorful chaos that defined the 1987 TV series Married. With children, let's take a moment to peel back the layers of laughter and unveil the nostalgia-laden corridors of our hearts. Much like Al Bundy's favorite couch, this show has comfortably nestled itself into our lives, making us laugh, cringe, and occasionally wonder if a dysfunctional family could be so bizarrely endearing. As the curtain falls on the Bundy family escapades, it's a poignant reminder that the everyday absurdities and misadventures mirror our own lives in more ways than we'd care to admit. From Peg's undeniable flair for shopping to Bud's relentless pursuit of, well, anything female, the Bundys were the anti-heroes we couldn't help but root for. And who could forget the indomitable duo of Al and Peggy? Their banter was the kind that could both warm your heart and raise an eyebrow. They navigated their misfortunes with a remarkable blend of sarcasm and unbreakable bonds, proving that sometimes it's the flaws that forge the strongest connections. But before we dim the lights on our reminiscing, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. How did Married with Children weave its way into your life's tapestry? Was it an after-school indulgence, a weekend ritual, or perhaps a source of comfort during those rainy days? Share your treasured memories, the scenes that sparked uncontrollable laughter, and the moments that made you question whether you, too, could rock a leopard print coat like Al. So, dear viewer, as we embrace the final credits of this unforgettable sitcom, let's raise a toast to the Bundys and to the countless shared chuckles they've gifted us. Your personal tales and reflections are the true testament to the show's enduring legacy, reminding us that family, no matter how unconventional, is a journey best traveled with laughter in tow. Thank you for joining us on this walk down memory lane. Your time and enthusiasm have made this journey all the more rewarding. Until we gather again to unravel the tales of another cherished show, keep those nostalgic fires burning bright. And remember, it's the quirks and quibbles that make life truly remarkable. Warmly, your fellow Bundian P.S. We can't wait to read your married. With children's stories, share away and let the nostalgia flow. Until next time, stay bundiful. Biffle, biffle, biffle.